G'day guys, Kudamato here, bringing you my first ever tutorial on CSGO movie making. I'm pretty nervous, so you're going to have to bear with me if I stutter and sound like a moron. Um, so, I realise there is a lot of CSGO movie making tutorials out there already. However, what I want to do is make this really basic and really simple to follow for people who are just starting out. So this is not going to be for advanced users. If you're already making your own edits and recording CSGO clips, you don't need to be watching this video, I don't think. However, if you're just starting out and you want to see how to record your own clips and apply some basic effects, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to teach you a thing or two. For today's tutorial, we're just going to be going over setting up the the programs and the files that you need to record a CSGO clip and then we'll actually be jumping into Counter-Strike and recording a clip. We won't actually be going into any editing or anything like that today, it'll just be about recording the CSGO clip and getting set up to do it in the future as well. So keep watching guys and hopefully you can learn something. Cheers. Alrighty, now the introductions are out of the way, let's quickly cover off what you're going to need. So the first thing you need is a movie making config. I'll provide my movie making config in the description. Um, and basically in the movie making config that it just has all your settings that you're going to want to record CSGO with. So it has things like your view model, your crosshair, as well as lots of handy binds to make, make recording the clip a lot easier. Now I'll go through what you do with this in a couple of moments, but just be mindful that you will need a movie making config. You don't necessarily have to use mine, there's plenty out there on the internet, you can even make your own. But for this tutorial, I'll be using mine and explaining what I'm doing with my movie making config. Uh, the next thing I'll provide to you is a, a text document just with some movie making commands. Um, you don't have to use this, these are commands you will be using though. And instead of having to type each one by hand, I've got them saved in a notepad which so I can just copy and paste them over. Um, so that'll also be in a download link in the description. The next thing you're going to need is a recording software. Now I'm using Fraps, and I know a lot of people aren't a fan of Fraps, but I really like it for a couple of reasons. The first reason is it's just easy as fuck to use, so all you have to do is install it, and it comes out of the box virtually ready to use it. I find the quality is quite good. Um, some people prefer to use Shadowplay, you can use OBS, you can use Dexatory. It's completely up to you what you use. But for my tutorials and the way I make my movies, my clips, I use Fraps. Now I'm going to provide all these things. I'm going to pack them up into a RAW and I'll provide a download link in the description for these three things here. So to install Fraps, all you want to do is click on this, it's really easy, there's no crack or anything like that, and just follow the prompts, okay? That's it, that's how you install Fraps, and here it is up here. So we'll delete that one off, and now we've got Fraps installed. So, once you've installed Fraps, you just go ahead and open it up, Let's just take a moment, and there's not a lot of settings you actually need to change, but if you just come across to the Movies tab, you just want to change your location to where the videos are going to save once you uh, start recording them. So I've got a folder here set aside. So I'm just going to save mine in there. And you need to set a hotkey that you're going to use. So I always just use the default which is F9. Now video capture settings, you want to change this to 60 FPS. And you also want to set this down here to lock frame rate while recording. And that's all you have to do to set fraps up. It's ready to go straight away now, okay? Now, with your movie making config, what you want to do is navigate to your Steam folder. So it's Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Counter Strike Global Offensive, and then CSGO, which is where I am here. Now, you'll already see a folder called CFG. This is your playing config, okay? So this is these are the settings you use when you play Counter Strike different than what you're going to use to record movies with. So all you want to do with my movie making config is copy, copy or drag it into the folder, the CSGO folder. Now when you want to record a CSGO clip, what you'll want to do is come to the playing config folder and change it to something like CFG play and change the CFG movie to CFG and that makes it active. That means that's going to be the config that loads up when you launch Counter Strike that's ready to go. Now the very last thing we need and also the most important thing we're going to need 
is HLAE or Half-Life Advanced Effects. This is a hack that launches Counter-Strike and it allows you to manipulate the death messages. It also allows you to do a lot more than that, but for this tutorial, we're just going to go through manipulating the death messages. So when I say manipulate death messages, I mean you can lock all death messages, you can change the names of the people that appear in the death messages, you can block assists, you can highlight them. So it's just about prettying up the demo basically to record it. So I'll provide a link to this in the description, but you can also just Google it. It's just called HLAE. All you want to do is come down here and download the current release, and then it'll bring you to the GitHub page, and you just want to download the current zip file there, okay? And once that's downloaded, it, it'll come in a raw format. Now, I'm not going to explain to you how to unraw stuff. I think most of you guys are big enough of a sweating nerd to know how to do that. But basically, there's no install file or anything like that. You just have to extract it into a location that you want. So I've got a folder here. I'll just create a new one called HLAE. And then all we want to do is drag that, everything for HLAE into that folder. And that's HLAE installed on your computer now. Now, you do need to keep HLAE updated. So if Counter-Strike gets an update, for example, HLAE will more than likely not work. So you need to update it. So basically when you launch it, It'll come up down the bottom here and say you need an, you need to update. So I'll show you now. So my version's up to date. So if it's not up to date, it'll say there's a newer version out or something like that. All you do is do exactly what we just did. So you just download the new version and drag and paste over what you've already got there and replace the files, and that'll update the important the files that need to be updated. Okay. Now we do need to set up HLAE. Now, this is very simple. It used to be a lot harder. But all you want to do now is come to File, Launch CSGO, and now you need to tell HLAE where CSGO is installed. So all you want to do is go to Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Counter-Strike Global Offensive, and then select the CSGO.exe. Now this next option is really, really important. So by enabling this option, it'll make sure your playing settings don't get fucked up. If you don't tick this, when you finish making a CSGO movie, even though you go in and change the names of the folders like I showed you, some of your key bindings and settings will still be fucked up. So it's really important that you do this. So all you do is tick enable and browse and just make a new folder anywhere on your computer. It doesn't matter what it is at all. And that, that will save you a lot of headaches down the track, guys. So make sure you do that. Now, with the graphic resolution, this is up to you. A lot of people, I know a lot of CSGO movie makers record into 1280 by 720, but I go 1920 by 1080. Big is better, right? That's what my girlfriend always tells me. Now, with these custom command line options, I don't actually put anything in here. I just leave it with the console option, but I do make sure this box here is ticked, okay? So you need to make sure this is ticked. This make sure Counter-Strike launches in an insecure mode, so it won't let you join any official any servers, okay? Because HLAE is a hack. So if you were to try and, or if you were to join a, an official server, you would more than likely get a VAC ban, and you don't want that. So really important, you only want to use HLAE when you're recording a clip. You don't want to use it when you're trying to play or anything like that. Just play it really, really safe, okay? And lastly, we just tick remember my changes. Now, before we actually launch CSGO, there is actually one other thing I wanted to cover off with you guys. If you want to make clips of pros, which let's be honest, we all do, um, all you do is come to hltv.org, scroll down to the results section, find a game, got the link here to the Go TV demo. So all you wanna do is download that. They're about two to 300 megabytes normally, I think, for a best of three. And you just download that, it'll come in a RAR, and then you just want to extract it, into again, into a folder of your choice. It actually doesn't matter. I have mine in my CSGO folder, in a folder called Demos to Edit. So that's all the demos I've got saved outside of my own at the moment. But you can save them on an external drive anywhere on your computer. It doesn't have to be in your CSGO or your Steam folder. So, now that we've learnt how to get a demo, We've learned how to install HLAE. We should have some recording software by now. 
I've, I've provided you fraps. Uh, you can use Shadow Play or Xtory OBS, anything you want. You should have your movie making config, so you should have in your CSGO file, you should have CFG and CFG Play. So CFG being your movie making config. When you want to come back to playing Counter Strike, you change CFG to CFG Movie and you change CFG Play to just CFG. And you should have Counter Strike installed and ready to hit launch on HLAE. Alright, so once we're loaded into Counter Strike, You'll see that you get this uh, warning from Valve about the anti-cheat. That's just because you're using HLAE. As long as you don't use any Valve servers or any, I'll just recommend no servers at all. Uh, you'll be fine. Like we spoke about earlier. Okay, so you have what the fuck is loading shit on my screen? There we go. Right, so you have two options to load a demo. Uh, if you downloaded one through HLTV, like we discussed before, um, all you do is hit Shift F2 which loads up the demo user interface here. Just hit load and browse to where you downloaded your demo and they'll be listed here. You just click on it and you can use the demo UI to flip through the rounds and find the round that you're after. Uh, today, we're gonna to be using one I've downloaded, which probably, I guess, most of you will be doing. Uh, it's a 4K I got on Overpass. Now, a really important thing when you going to record from a Go TV demo uh, such as this that you've downloaded you can click on the round and just go straight to the round that way but what sometimes happens if you do that you'll miss the final shot or the final tick of the round and it, it'll just look shitty uh, so basically you'll shoot but it'll miss the shot and just skip to the the other person dying or something like that so what you want to do is just click on the first round of the match and and then you'll manually skip through to the round uh, the round that you're after so in this case it's 16 17 it's the 18th round so we'll just click on one use the demo UI so shift F2 to, uh, to skip to that round now you can see that our auto exec has loaded because we've got the white crosshair um, and the, you can, if you have a close look, you can see the um, field of view is slightly different. So what we're going to do now is skip through to the 18th round. Alright, so here we are on our 18th round. So, a couple of things you want to do here. The first thing you want to do, and this is completely optional, this is down to taste, you know, what you prefer. Um, but the way I do it, I have configs in my folder for each map um, this just gives you a bit of fog um, so what you do is go to your console and type EXEC and then they're all under CFG and they're all the ones we've got there so I've got a few maps not all of them um, so what's this is overpass obviously so we select overpass and you can see that brings up green fog I'm not going to roll with that one I'm just going to use the clean one I actually think clean probably looks the best it's just a bit of a white fog. Um, there is some maps, I think Nuke and Cache, where the fog doesn't work. I don't know why, but most of the, all the other maps, I'm pretty sure you can change the fog. And I've also um, got in those files just a slightly brighter sky box as well, a uh, bright blue one. So now that's done, uh, what you can do is hit enter, and that'll hide your HUD. Okay, if you ever need help for the commands that I've got, in the movie making config you can just hit F2 and that'll actually bring up all the commands that you can use so you can see that enter toggles the HUD F1 is play and resume uh, which is really important with the showing the help which is F2 um, and F1 for pausing it only works if the HUDs are hid so you see if I F1 it resumes but if I turn the HUD back on doesn't actually work so I don't think there's a way around that it is what it is so now what we want to do is we want to manipulate our death messages but to do that what we need to do is we need to find out the players or in my this case my ID for this particular game now this is specific to each demo so every time you watch a demo and you want to get the user ID or the player ID, whatever it is, um, you have to do this. So I've got a notepad with these shit, this shit saved in it, so I'll just copy and paste it because I'm a bad typer and 
of shit memory as well and I can't remember this stuff um, but in this case we want to be in our console we want to put merv underscore death message debug one so let's go ahead and do that okay and now what we're going to do is play a demo now if you use the plus key on your keypad that actually fast forwards you've got to hold it in and what you want to do is just skip through to where the person you're watching gets a kill So I've got two kills there, went a bit far, but then you just come to your console, so hit the tilde key to open up your console, and you see here UID attacker, so that's me because I shot, I'm number six. So what I've got here on this line, used to block assist and other players, I've got all the commands you want in one line, but you need to insert the player ID, so I've got insert player ID here. Now you don't want the commas, you need to take the commas out and just insert six. And you do it again here. And that's it. And it'll, the death messages will last for 90 seconds. So we'll leave that there for a moment. Now what we're going to do is skip, skip back to the beginning of the round. Alright, so we're back at the beginning of the round now. So the way I do my clips is I record the clip twice. I record it once in normal time. Okay for the audio track and then i record it at 25 percent or quarter of the speed for the video track and doing it this way just allows you to you to use slow motion down to 25 percent without losing too much quality i uh, hope that makes sense so we've got the player id so we can start blocking death messages if we want to which you should i think look, look trash if you're doing a clip and you've got everybody's kill feed up there but a couple of things just to uh, look at before we start. Um, you want to make sure you have Fraps or your recording software. So Fraps, Dexatory, OBS, whatever you're using, like we went through earlier on. And make sure you know what your video capture hotkey is. In this instance, it's F8. And make sure it's saved. M make sure you've got your uh, destination folder put in there. Um, another tip I'll give you guys because this is fuck me over heaps of times you're recording a clip at 25 percent or when i first started i used to do it even slower than that I used to record at 300 fps which will go over maybe in a, in a later tutorial um but it used to take ages and i'm talking like 15 minutes for a whole round so what you don't want is to be recording a whole round and ha get a steam notification pop up or something like that so you just go to your friends list and click on your name and go offline this stops any steam notifications coming through while you're recording your beautiful clip okay um, and the other one is again just hit f2 you can always hit f2 just to uh, see what your commands are or your hotkeys are the main ones we're going to be using at the moment is the key is the plus key on the keypad um, that just fast forwards to the points so you don't have to sit there and watch it and it saves pushing buttons on the demo ui um, F1 to play and pause, and then we're also going to use number two on the keypad, this here, and this, when we're ready to record the video track, so the second recording, that'll play the demo at 25% for us, okay? All right, so let's jump into it. So I'm gonna hit F1 to resume, and I'm gonna hold down the plus key to fast forward a bit. All right, so I'm gonna start recording just before the bomb plant. So just remember, this is going to be at normal speed for the audio track. So we'll hit F1 to resume and then I'll hit F8 to start recording with fraps. Alright, so F1 to pause that, F8 to stop the recording. So I know what you guys are thinking. You're thinking he didn't do anything with the death messages. What you have to remember is that's that recording right there. Ultimately all we're going to be using that one for is the audio. We won't actually be seeing the video and we'll get to that down the track, don't worry. So now what we do is go back to the start of the round again and bring up uh, that notepad, which I'll leave in this I'll leave a link for this in the description for you guys as well. Okay? Um, and what we want to do is copy this line of commands basically. So you've got my number six here. And what, what this is going to do is block assists, so you can't see any assists. Uh, it'll block everybody but my message, my death messages. It's also going to highlight them, highlight them in red. Now, if you don't want your 
uh, death message is highlighted, just remove this command here. But I think it, you know, it looks good, it makes it stand out, it makes it punchy. And of course, this is uh, going to make it last for 90 seconds. So just copy this whole line in, very easy, guys. Open up your console with the tilde key, control V, enter, boom, we're ready to go. So let's get rid of our HUD. So we hit enter for that on the, on the keypad. Uh, we hit F1 to resume, and look at that. Now you, you don't have to record from the exact same spot you started before, because we'll sync that up in our editing software later. So it's going to hit 2 now to slow it down, F8 to record, and I'll see you guys on the other side. Alright guys, so just finished recording our clip, uh, you can see, I've got a pause at the moment, so you can see it all worked how it should. Death messages are highlighted in red, you only see my name and the person I killed, and you don't see any assists, so that's perfect. So, what we've done is we have launched Counter-Strike through Half-Life After Effects, we've entered access to demo, we've manipulated the death messages, and we've recorded our clip. Now. As I've said a few times now, we've got two clips. We've got one for audio, which if you play it, is normal speed. So that's obviously the one we're going to use for the audio track down the... As is, this is not going to make sense. This is the one we're going to use for the audio track down the track. And this one is the one that's recorded at 25%, as you can see. Um, and this is the one we're going to use for the video. And I've just named them accordingly, audio, video. So. That's pretty much it for the first video. How to record a CSGO clip, pretty simple stuff. I hope at least one person finds this tutorial or video useful. Uh, and keep an eye out for the next one, which will actually be inserting. So my editing software is Sony Vega, so I don't know how to use any of the Adobe products. So I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to do very, very basic things in Vegas. And I mean, how to insert the clip, how to cut the clip, just very basic things like that. So keep an eye out for that one and I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you.